Hey everyone, welcome, finally. I know it's been about a week or so, but it's to my review of Bloody Cross Manga Chapter 8. Okay, so quite a bit of stuff happened in this chapter, so let me try to give you the best summary I can. Alright. At the beginning of this chapter, we are introduced to, uh, hold on a sec. Uh, I forgot to bring up the list of character name. Hana Bira is his name. Why do I keep forgetting that fucking name? We're about to Hana Bira, who is currently in a phone call with. Uh. Suku. Suki Mia. He's in a phone. Alright, Hana Bira is in a phone call with Suki Mia. Okay. And, you know, they're talking about Arcada and. Once again, that. Hinata is a member of Arcada, and Tsukimiya made the conscious decision not to not trust him anymore. Then he hangs up the phone after Tsuduki catches him explaining things to her, I guess. I don't know, and then we're cut to a scene with a mysterious perverted man grabbing Tsukimiya's breasts from behind. Turns out it's Hinata. Go fucking figure. And he tries to help her out again for some reason, telling her the correct way to go after God's inheritance, and she senses no lies from him this time, so she decides to trust him, and he goes along with her. Even though she previously made the conscious decision to not trust him, just because she's not detecting any lies from him, she's going to trust him now, I guess. Then after, then, after that, we're taken back to uh, Hanabira and Suduki, who comes across many other characters, we only know the names of two of them so far, who apparently are wielding God's, in, uh, God's uh, pieces of God's inheritance, although they don't know how many of them can actually fully control God's inheritance yet, as of yet. The only two names that we know of is a guy named Masano and a woman named Uesugi. I, and I believe it's the guy, Masano, although I couldn't be sure at the moment, who wields God, some, some sort of an icy God's inheritance, I forget the name, but that's not really important though, who, which allows him to combine hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen direct, directly into water, or directly into ice. So basically it's an ice type weapon. I, and then a battle ensues. It's Suduki versus these several member uh, characters wielding God's inheritance. It's also unknown if which, which ones are angels, demons, or half breeds. Okay, or if they're involved with Arca Arcanda or not. And then Satsuki shows up and takes some. Apparently, I think they're laying on to believe that he they killed that he killed all of them, or at least one of them. I mean, we only saw him kill one of them, but I think they s implied that he killed all of them. I'm not sure though. And apparently, it's revealed that Satsuki is Tadukis' older brother. All right, and then it's cut to. Uh, Tsuki Mia falling to the ground and bleeding from her chest where her brand used to be. And then it cuts to Mo Momose Actu actually grinning and pulling some sort of a string saying, I win or something like that. I don't know. I, I And that's pretty much it for this chapter. It was really confusing to say the least. I hope it gets... I hope we get. I hope. I hope I understand it more uh, in later chapters and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this review. If you like 
the review, please leave it in the comments what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, then please feel free to tell me. And that's all for now. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.